Misha here and today I wanted to experiment with the feather string pull. Um, I know there's a lot of them out there on YouTube right now. I really want to try it out for myself. I saw it on Gina DeLuca's channel and she's amazing so if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. But I've got just an old canvas. I've been trying to reuse a bunch of my old canvases that I really don't want to put up for sale um, or there's just something about them I don't like. This was me, the beginning of me learning how to uh, fluid paint, and this one was fun. Um, there's like a turtle in here, but a flying turtle, I say. But this is the perfect size for me to be able to trial the feather pull, string pull. So um, I've got some, I'm actually knitting a blanket right now. So I've got some of this wool yarn, and it's thicker than what most people use, but it's what I've got, and that's what I'm going to try. Um, this white is mixed with... There's just a little bit of white, a whole lot of flow troll, and just a little bit of water. I was trying to copy what Gina DeLuca is doing. And then I've got some black for the base right here. I wanted to just go with black and white because I really want to see the white um, pull through and, and have that ultimate contrast. So let's go ahead and start pouring, get this background done. Okay, so my black is poured, and you can see my reflection in it. So interesting. Um, so my black is poured, and I made it pretty thin. Um, I don't want that to be really thick and gummy up the pull. So let's see if this works. Let's just pour some white out right here. I'm going to take one string first, and I'm going to soak it up in there. Flip it around. We'll see what it's going to do with this thicker string. I'm a little worried about it, but it might be cool. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you know what? I saw another video. Um, This was not Gina's, and I cannot remember where I saw it, but they used two strings, which was kind of a cool idea. My dogs are going nuts. There's other dogs in the neighborhood. They'd like to be the only dogs in the neighborhood. So I'm pulling a little bit of this extra off. And now, oh, okay, I'm going to drop it right here. And I'm going to take one of these strings. And I'm going to pull slow. That black is pooling. And I don't want it to go over the string. Pull tight. There we go. Let's go with this one. do this. I've got some black on my fingers and I don't have any paper towels. That's crazy to not have paper towels when you're painting. Let's go ahead and soak another string real quick. Get most of the black off my fingers. Here we go. This one I'm going to lay, drop it, and pull. Okay, it's not as cool as hers, I don't think, but it's pretty neat anyway, and it's fun to play with. I'm going to drop this just a little bit again right here, and pull. That did not work. do this one more time. 
rub it, pull on through. There we go. Okay, let me bring it in closer. This isn't a bloody success, but it's pretty cool anyway. I would definitely add more colors to it, and I would make that black even thinner. Like, you dump off even more as I go. And I really wanted to get that tip looking much prettier. But I did get this effect in here. I got the nice string pull through. Let me bring you guys in closer for a look. Okay, so this is how it looks from my perspective. I got a new lens, so I'm hoping the autofocus works a lot better and it's a lot quieter. Let's check it out. Well, with the black, you sure can see what's going on. You can see my chandelier. Sometimes you can see the actual camera. See how those lines all worked out pretty well until we got to the end. And I did notice that in a couple of them. A um, couple videos that I've seen. Ooh, that's cool. Um, I've noticed that the tips of the feather isn't always the easiest thing to do. It doesn't always work out the best. But it was still pretty darn fun. I like these wisps over here. All in all, this was just fun. I really just wanted to check it out because I sometimes don't experiment enough. And then it bums me out. So I like to see what else is out there and give it a, give it a whirl for myself. So, all right, guys, tell me what you think by commenting below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit subscribed, hit that subscribe button right there because there's a lot more coming. All right, y'all, happy holidays. Until next time, take care.